Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with the brand new character, Blue Easton. And I think she's going to work really well alongside Escanor and also Lilia today. So the skills that she has, she has the same AoE as Green Derriere. So you got a bit of damage to every single opponent. Uh, but also if it's silver, it fills alt gauge by one orb and gold fills alt gauge by two orbs. So this, especially on a merger man, is just a really good card to rush to ultimate there. She also also has the same buff card as the green version of Hellbrum, so it increases attack related stats of all allies by 15% for two turns, and with Red Escanor this is going to be another buff to scale up the amplify damage, and also being attack related stats and not just attack, also gives Lilia a bit more pierce rate, which then she passes on to both uh, Easton and also Escanor as well, so there's uh, a lot of good synergy there, but also on top of that her unique ability for every buff that exists on on allies and enemies gives her 5% more basic stats. So Red Escanor starts with one buff, and if we use her buff uh, first turn as well, that's like five stacks of this, so it's a 20% increase to her. Uh, what is it? Health, attack, and defense. So yeah, should make her a fair bit tanky. And then we have her ultimate. So I got three copies on the summons this morning. So it's spike damage equal to 420% of attack on all enemies. Um, and if this crits, it just deals devastating damage. Uh, but yeah, ideally we want to have like this buff active just to increase the, the crit chance uh, when we do fire that off as well. Uh, but yeah, if that crits, it's going to be a pretty damn good time. But anyway, let's uh, jump into the first match. Uh, up. And if we can get a merger straight off the cuff um, into an upgraded, uh, what is it, like, War Tornadoes card, um, then, yeah, we can rush all our uh, first turn as well. So that's why I've got her positioned over to the left-hand side here. But let's have a little bit of a look. We've got Lost Fame Meliodas Alt Rush team using CC food here, though. Okay. We don't have a drain, though, so that is... Slightly inconvenient. It's gonna rush somebody's ult. I am assuming. I hope it's Gotha's ult. Could be lost veins of a uh, merger here. See what he goes for. Or is it just a spread of cards? Okay, I don't think he can rush ult then. He's just getting for Lilia. Right, fair play. Um, okay, what are we gonna go for here? I think I'm going to go for... I think I want to go for the merger here and then fire off this card. And then... I think I'm just going to get everybody topped up. Actually, do I want to get people topped up? I think we maybe nuke into uh, Lost Vein here. Because he's used both the Lost Vein cards. And hey, we're going to have a bit more damage on Escanor. So this is going to upgrade if he's got anything in hand. He's only got one card in hand, so it's not too bad there. Okay, that's really good. I think he might try and petrify Easton. If he's got upgrade and double petrify, we're in trouble. But aside from that, we should be good. If he's just got single petrify, we should be okay. He's going for Escanor now. I think that was a bit of a misplay there, man. I'm really not too sure why he went for Escanor. I think that was a, uh, a little bit of a mistake there. But I think if we go for the merger here, and let's uh, break Easton out, should get everybody topped up quite nicely as well, and go for her ultimate. If this crits Lost Fame, which hopefully it should, we don't have the, uh, the buff on, because that was removed by Petrify. But if it does, we're in a really, really good spot. Let's go. Okay, that is perfect, man. Nice little 67k crit there. Let's have a look. So Merlin's dropping down. And then, I'm just trying to think about the play. we got a lot of drain available to us now. Attack disable would be bad news. I think if he attack disables and controls uh, the Lilia, then we're in trouble. Okay, but he's going for the heal approach. Okay. Right, we... Oh, no. Okay, we're still going to take a go through ult. So that's slightly unfortunate there. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go for that. And I think we'll move this card over here. It's a good play, though. 
because yeah we don't have uh <laughs> any full off unfortunately oh no another attack disable i'm in massive trouble he might go for that but we'll see Because, yeah, I'm very... Without those heal cards in hand to remove uh, debuffs, man, very vulnerable to attack disable here. Right, he's nuking into Easton. I then go for another attack disable. Fair play makes a little bit of sense. However, here, I think we can rush uh, Easton's ult. He's still got, like, Merlin's Drain, but... It's the, I think the play to go for. Let's move this over here. I don't really want to, like, just dump that gold card. Okay, as long as he doesn't have another attack disable, man, <laughs> we should be good. He's got to be out of attack disables now. Oh, no, he's got rank up and then attack disable. Uh, that is unfortunate, boys. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh, actually, no, no, no. He's still got Eastern Zolt, man. Yeah, he didn't drain there. Okay, so uh, if Easton Zolt crits, we're in a pretty pretty good spot here. We don't have any additional buffs on us, so it's uh, a bit unfortunate. But I think we also just chuck off this um, Eskinor card for now. I think um, we can still potentially survive King Zolt. But if it crits, man, oh, that is slightly inconvenient. Right, what we got here? Oh, mate. Still don't have a way to remove attack disable. <laughs> a handful of attack cards. And we're getting clapped. We have no buffs as well present on us or the uh, the enemy. But we'll see what, we'll see what Merlin goes for here. Oh, Easton. Uh, please. Okay, that's really, really good. Well, it's not really, really good, but I think we can make something work here, maybe. He didn't go for a heal, so we just need, um, what do we need? Okay, we, we just got to go for the gold card here, I reckon. Let's go for the increased attack-related stats, and 300% damage to all enemies. Come on! Yes, dude, we wipe Ghost the and King, that's perfect! Okay, there's a good chance um, my Easton gets clapped here, but then I think we have the, the drains on Merlin to finish off. Right, I, th I think we're done here, mate. I think we're done here. So we're going to send this man a polite bow. Very good match there, Chevy. You definitely kept me on the, uh, <laughs> the edge of my seat, dude. I couldn't do anything for like three turns. <laughs> But that was uh, that's definitely a fun time, man. Not a, a bad little uh, warm-up match there. But yeah, this team is uh, somewhat vulnerable to attack disable, for sure. But I'm curious to see uh, what else we're going to be facing today. I think with the increased stats and health of both Escanor and Easton, especially toward the start of the match, we should be able to beat Pierce teams as well, uh, even without Red King in the back. But yeah, we'll see what we're up against here. But that was such a sick Eastern comeback there. Okay, so we got a new challenger here. This person is using uh, Alt Rush food instead of CC. However, I think we just want to go for this. And then let's buff up. And then I think we nuke into... If I nuke into Lost Fane... Actually, you shouldn't... I, I think we need him to Lost Fane here. He can get gold cards anyway if he wants to. Like, this is almost certainly going to give him gold cards. But that was also a lot of first turn damage. But I think with... Um, like, Eskinor's health buff and Easton's um, passive, those two are very tanky at this point. Lily is the only one that can get clapped. But even if Lilia dies, maybe it's not the worst scenario. He'd have to use like three damage cards in order to do that. But he might uh, be a bit more con control focused here. What's he going to go for? Hey. 
Okay, interesting. Um, he's got no no oldies rushed here actually. Let's go for both the Lilia cards here. I kind of like the idea of healing up. Yeah, I I think we break um, Easter now and just go for her ult here because we we don't need to drain. And it's still a pretty good time to do it. We got like 15% additional attack. If we crit the Lost Vein. Man, straight in the Shadow Realm. There we go. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Okay, we need an Eskimo Drain. Oh, we didn't get an Eskimo Drain. Okay. Might be in a little bit of trouble if he upgrades King and then petrifies and heals. We got a little bit, a little bit of burst retaliation here. Oh, gosh, it's exactly that play, isn't it? Oh, fair play, man, fair play. Okay, well, I think we can still, uh, Escanor maybe still survives. We'll just deal as much damage as we can here. This should still be like a pretty good chunk. Easton, if we are lucky, maybe survives as well. She's got like 15% more health. She's fully topped up. We are going to need to be quite lucky. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But she's quite tanky. Yeah, I, I do think she survives. Get a nice merger on her as well. It depends like what that final card is as well. Oh, what's the worst thing? Maybe attack the Sable here would be the worst. Okay, he's gone for a King heal. I think we still have the uh, the buff on us, right? Okay, that's really good. Hmm. Can we just like double nuke into the King here? I think King is like the biggest threat to uh, winning the match. And we have one buff on us. I think it's just about enough damage to get that king down. Let's go, Easton. Okay, nice. Better spot. We're still very vulnerable to uh, attack disable here. Um, if you attack disables and rushes Merlin's ult. Okay, we're good. Okay, so what do we want to do here? I think I go for this play. Just to maximize draw, I think that's the one to go for. We do lose a bit of damage on the Escanor there. Uh, but we also gain a silver shield on everyone. And also Merlin Zolt. So I thought there was maximum value in that play. But I do like this team, man. This team's quite fun to play around with. I'm not really too sure <laughs> it's, uh, you know, top meta or the absolute best. All right, so we just skipped ahead a couple of bot matches. But fingers crossed this is a, uh, a player here. I think judging by the CC, uh, most likely is somebody using food. So let's go for a polite bounce, see if we get anything back here. Uh, what's he merged though? That's the question. Oh, dude, if he's merged a Petrify straight into my Escanor? Okay, I think we're good here. Um, let's go for... I think that's buff up, and then let's uh, nuke in. We're going to crit that Lost Vein. No gold cards, though, so that's always a good time. He's got a Petrify next turn. However, that actually works out pretty well. Yeah, we can double rush ult here. So, then the following turn, we got triple ult. Ooh, that's good. Unless he's... Even if he goes for the Lost Vein ult... Yeah, I don't think there's, like... Great play for him here. Still on the way Eastern. I actually wasn't going to use her next turn, so it's kind of fine. <laughs> I think. 
Um, unless he mistargeted there, so uh, might have been the case. He's gonna clamp that king, I think so. And then should we nuke into um? Oh, I didn't mean to go for that drain, but it works. It's preemptive. <laughs> I, I think that was definitely a missed target on his behalf, though. Okay, nice. And yeah, with the uh, the Eastern buff, we just got plenty of damage to break that shield. Alright, is he going to go for here? Yeah, probably Eastern? I think because it looks like she's got lower health, he's like, oh, maybe I can snipe her. He's not really, like, close to an ultimate, but she's also got, like, 15% more stats. And she also has a lot higher base health than Lilia, so she actually probably has more health than Lilia. Okay, cool. I think here we go for this buff, and then let's... Actually, maybe we go for this instead. I like this because it also increases the effectiveness of the heal, um, and makes Eskinor hit a lot harder, so I think we start clapping into Merlin there. And then I want to get Lost Vein down with some sort of combo. Of uh, one of these two alts. And then an Escanor card. Right, let's see what he goes for. I think I saw one card on each. So yeah, I think he's going to try and get the Eastern down. Unfortunately, RIP to Eastern there. But it's all good. The buff lives on, man. The buff lives on. So we have 15% more attack related stats for Lilia's ult. So this should hurt a fair bit. And then we can just double nuke into the um, uh, Lost Vein. Guarantee the KO there. Also, D rank some cards. I think Escanor got a merger on the draw. So yeah, that should sort them out quite nicely. Dude, Lost Vein's going to die off a bronze there. If we're really lucky, maybe Escanor dies off this card. Oh, close, man. Really, really close. But yeah, I do really like the combination of Blue Eastern and uh, Red Escanor. I think she does, like, uh, some really nice stuff for both of the characters. All right, so we're looking for one final player match. Fingers crossed. We just had two bot matches in a row, but it looks like we may have a player here. Let's go for Applied Bounce, see if we do anything back. And I think here, I'm just going to start by rolling back. Uh, with a Lilia. Maybe I shouldn't have used the buff because it's more likely to crit Lost Vein now. That nah, worked out right, man. Worked out right. Okay, that's pretty good. I really, really hope this is a player, man. Okay, they've gone for a merger on King. Preemptive drain over there. Yeah, I thought if it. If it was a player, they'd probably try and CC the Escanor, so that does make a bit of sense. Um, I think let's go for this play. And then... Do you just want to rush Eastern Zolt? I think so. Let's go for this. And I think we'll fire off this. So we're probably going to crit Lost Fane, get him upgraded, but it's alright. Got two buffs on our team, so Eastern's like 10% more tanky. Could be a bit more. It's going for Eskinor there. Fair play. Yeah, I think I probably should have just tried to rush Eskinor Zol. However, that is uh, a pretty interesting hand that's come together.
I think there's a good chance this uh, kills Lost Vein here. If we had the uh, Eastern buff, definitely. I think we might just be a little bit short here, though. Oh, dude. That was really, really close. My goodness, that's some God Draw on Eskinal, though. Pretty damn ridiculous there. Right, let's have a little bit of a look. What's he going to go for? He's got a fair amount of golden cards, but he's going for a heal and then uh, probably nuke everybody. Oh, no, 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 trying to get Eskimo down. Fair play. Definitely made a bit of sense there. Uh, but now I think we are just going to use the Eastern buff. And then this is going to... Yeah, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I think if we're lucky here, King and Lost Vein should go down. Let's have a bit of a look, though. Oh, perfect, man. We got the triple crit. <laughs> Oh, dude, the attack-related stats buff is so nice. But there we go. Fair play, man. Fair play. Definitely had his uh, focus in the right place. Um, this Escanor might still be a little bit of trouble. Oh, yeah, he's he's hitting hard. Okay, let's go for... <laughs> let's go for the ult, and then I think we are just going to double heal up for a bit of safety here. Does that also allow us to rush Lily as I think we're actually like uh, a bit short of rushing Lily as ult here. But at least it gets Eastern topped up. And with that attack buff, we've got additional healing there. So yeah, that's a pretty good merger. Ooh, that's really good for rolling Eskinor back. Um... I think for now, let's just go for this play, because this will probably get down next turn. Cool, cool. Well, that was uh, definitely an interesting match. That, uh, <laughs> that Lilia old man with a triple crit was just so clutch. Like, that really did turn the tide of the battle. But yeah, overall, I uh, I do like Blue East then. I think with certain comps and certain weeks and rules, then she may have the opportunity to shine a little bit more. Uh, I'm not really too sure under what criteria, but she's definitely tanky. She's got like a fair bit of damage, a decent amount of support. However, in comparison to the green one, man, she's very much overshadowed. When the green Eastern comes out, like she's just an absolute... Um, uh, what is it? Game changer for the PvP meta. But yeah, hopefully you'd enjoy today's first look at Blue Easted in global PvP. Let me know your thoughts and any team recommendations in the comments section below. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.